Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I welcome you again in the lecture series of digital filter design. And today is our topic is we are going to design IR high pass filter in the MATLAB. Mm. So what is IR high pass filter? Again, the idea is very simple. And just like a IR low pass filter, the pole we don't need to change the pole uh, zero location for just like FIR. We just need to put one zero at z is equal to one just like and uh, ir gave you a flexibility to change the pole the location to control the cut of frequency just like here alpha is the position of uh, here is the alpha alpha is the position of the pole and we need to put to change the position of the pole we can change the cut of frequency and how can we calculate we can calculate the value of alpha using this formula but you should keep in mind alpha should be less than one to uh, uh, keep in mind the stability condition because alpha is the location of the pole if the alpha value is greater than one then it means that your system is unstable and un uh, so you need to keep alpha less than one so that is how can we implement IR high pass filter. Now let's go to the MATLAB and going to implement in the MATLAB. So that is our MATLAB. Now we are going to implement this. Uh, let's suppose we are going to going to design a high pass filter with the cut off frequency. Omega is equal to 0 0.755. So if we want to implement this, if you're going to implement with the uh, FIR filter, then you need to cascade number of system uh, FIR filter. So uh, again, the flexibility in the IR system, we don't need to cascade system. We just need to calculate the value of alpha. Alpha is equal to, let's suppose, one minus sine omega c sine omega c is 0 0.75 into pi over cos 0 0.75 into pi and that's it that is the value of alpha minus 0 0.4147 so we are going to implement this mm, very easy my underscore response in b case one minus one and comma a case your feedback one plus zero point four one four two and that's it So that is our filter response, high pass filter. So you can easily change the frequency response. Let's suppose 0 0.9. Zero point eight. You can see you can easily change in the frequency response of the FIR filter by simple change the position of the zero. It is very easy to implement.
<coughs> so that is basically our today IAR high pass filter. It is very simple and easy. And if you want to again design another filter with a different cutoff frequency, so you can also change the value of that cutoff frequency. That's for 85. And here we need to change again the 85. That is the value of A. You just need to put these coefficient, these values 0 0.61 to 8. So that is basically your IAR high pass filter with the cutoff frequency 0 0.855. So hope you like my video. Uh, share my channel. And if you have any query, then you can comment and ask question with me. And the next lecture will be about the implementing a higher order IAR filter. Uh, so. Take care. Allah Hafiz.